watch that. No, I gotta take Let's them go. apart. I'm gonna use the little air gun, three eighths air gun, or my little gun, and take them. All right, folks. Here we are back at the uh, final destination. Oh, there's Scott there and uh, Jesse, of course. Here's myself. And uh, this is part two of the series of the Roadrunner Resurrection. <laughs> so uh, today, Scott, what are you doing today on this? Spark plugs. Can you do some spark plugs? I think we're going to, he's going to. Checking for oil, checking for rust. Going to pull some plugs out on it. About so, pull the plug out. Big number, 440 that he built back in the number, what, late 80s. Number three, I think this is. Yeah, this is three. So we got the tires off. He's got these racing what are drag drag lights, and he's got to get some tires put on them. So we got uh, he's How's got that tubes. Look? That looks pretty that damn looks, good. I'm that looks right pretty freaking good. I put that sucker right back in there. I'm gonna squirt some oil in there first. Well, to see if there any of them are. Yeah, I mean you can. I would. We were gonna we were gonna do the old. Uh, I know which one. Take, because you know the the cylinders are rusty. Wish we had an endoscope. Can you see in there with a flashlight? I don't know. It's over on your side. Throw it at Jesse. God, I wish we could see in there. Maybe with a cell phone. So what we're trying to do is determine if we should put some vinegar in them and get the rust off the cylinder wall before we destroy the rings, yeah. or if we should just put. Once you put the oil, if anybody, if everybody doesn't know, once you put oil in them, you, the vinegar trick won't work. So, uh, well, that cylinder will be fine, so we know that, right? This, I mean, it might not need them. It might not be that bad, but, you know, just that's what we're trying to figure out right now, at least Scott is. Perfect. Probably going to have to pull the uh, valve covers and maybe tap on the valves and make sure they're not stuck. So, yeah, you just have to pull each one out. So, uh, the process has begun. I'm going to fill it up till it runs out, I think. Hey. Marvel. Right. Well, I'm going to, hopefully it'll turn over. Uh-oh. Got the damn thing stuck in there. Uh, yeah, just put a little bit in there. I don't know, I don't know 17 years. It's only been 17 years. I mean, it's been sitting in the driveway covered. It'll stick, it can still get somewhat covered. Can, you know, yeah, I mean it can still get condensation inside the engine. I know. Yeah, I need some. Food. Those are probably fine. Those will be fine. Jesus, look at these plugs. They're rusted. These are. I need to get some oh, of these. Somebody oh yeah. order some off eBay for me or something. XL one thirty sevens. That's what's yeah. going back in. See, they're U grooves. I told you those were XL. You said they were something else. Well, they're ND. They're uh, oh. Originally, whoever makes them cracked up. I just, oh, I got you. So I just, I just bought some of those off the jungle store for the, uh, for the Dakota. Cause they had them on clearance. Yes, shorties. I don't know, but they look pretty good. So I think they're going back in. I don't see anything wrong with that plug. Well, I'm putting so. it back in just because. We're all about uh, recycling here. No. This is definitely not Iowa classic cars, but uh, this is the, uh, let me get this, this is the rolling rolling picture cars. So this is their shop that I mentioned in the first video when they... Pulled away from the trailer and here they got the, uh, we got a couple projects here. This is Project Imperial. It's, uh, it's, uh near completion and uh here's jesse's project which is uh the blues mobile it's uh what is a 74 74 74 monaco pretty cool car very cool car original i think jesse said this is actually an original police car actual police car that they this car wow All right, so that was a walk around to the shop. That one looks pretty good, um, too. Let's see. Looks real. I mean, it's black, but I mean, yeah, what do you I mean, expect? That's, that's... It was running real rich when I first, when I last drove it. I think, I don't know. Not, they're not. They throw me that they're sharp. The, 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 what, this? Oh, this? Oh, this? What, what? So we're going to go with oil until we find one that's rusty. 
and so far so good they all look well, there's no rust at all on these so one out of two I mean, that ain't great odds but gotta work around the custom you know those custom built headers yeah custom headmans now, this is a 440 what is that a edelbrock intake and i think you said yep. you got a you put a purple stick in it it's a competition cam oh, it's not an m1 oh, intake oh, this is a competition cam mm -hmm. oh you said it was a mopar purple mm -mm. no Oh, I had one. I had one of those since the last one ran. Well, it was recycled, right? You got it from a friend of yours or something. So, with all the recycled parts, there's no reason to put new uh, plugs in it. So this is still working. Gum brake car. Drums look pretty good. We're going to try and get inside of them. Probably should get inside of them to see if he needs to rebuild the wheel cylinders. They don't need rebuild. They just need to sand it. Yeah. Taking them apart while well, the rubber. You have to check and see if the rubber. Oh, excuse me there. Check and see if the rubber seals. We got a, he said he's just got a little, uh, a little whiskey dent here on the side. Yeah. Now, where's Duff Dog? Oh, that's right. He's on Morski. Where the hell's Duff Dog? So we got a little. Got a little whammy here. That's it's got whammies everywhere. Duff dog is Morsky's repair. That's his dog. He's got a really super cool dog. Oh, his dog helps him repair. Yeah, well, he goes for rides in him once he finishes the. Oh, that works. We'll get we'll get what's his name's dog. So he was barking at you yesterday. Yeah, you he, was, at he was barking at me pretty good. He said, I guess and I'm, well, no, he calmed down after a while. He started wagging his tail. That's one thing right there, that damn joint. I need to rebuild that or at least put a yeah, seal on it. A rag joint? It, well, it's no, it's just regular old Dodge thing. It's got shoes in there with pins and stuff. Hmm. I never have fixed them. All right. Yeah. Let's see about this one. Let's see. Yep, I still got two bars on the. Well, if he had two wrenches. It's all right, too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Looks like uh, you need some new lightning hoses. Lightning hoses. Lightning hoses. These are these are the lightning hoses. Oh, yeah, the, those are those are uh, auto lights. I can't tell if I'm in there or not. I guess so. Hope I'm going so we're gonna go through all eight of these, and then once we get to a point where Got to see if, uh, I don't I'm know, pulling if we'll the valve covers. pull the valve covers, take a look at inside of those. All right, back at it. Here we go. We're on the, Scott's on the last cylinder here. He's going to put some Slippy. of the, uh, yes, famous Marvel mystery look at that, Slippy sauce. Right in. Yep. I just can't believe one of these cylinders is not going to get filled up. I've been pumping the crap out of that crap. Yeah, it must be all the way at the bottom. I guess that's, a, oop, there it goes. There's yep. one. Yep, that one's pretty close to the top. Ooh. Yeah, that's the first one to do that. Yeah, so let's see, where'd you? We took the, uh, he's got all the plugs out and removed the, uh, Move cold, the bear can. Move the cold snacks there. Cold. And, uh, you got a buzzword for everything? Yeah. Cold snacks. I don't know if that helps. Probably that makes it worse, I think. So you can see all, none of the plugs are rusty. They all look good. So hopes are high that, the uh, cover off. the, uh, Where's the, where's the, um, where's your wand so you can do the, 
blow it in there or do you need to do that on this one i don't need to right this second well we need to i want to yeah you need to hey jesse you don't want a blower machine yeah Bob, you ready for some shit on your camera no i'm not <laughs> not gonna get it on the camera i'm just gonna so this is the uh this is the patented exclusive yeah here we uh, go let me go back to the back cylinder Oh, you didn't do any of them? No, I haven't done none of them. There you are, you're right there. So, uh... Where's that one? Right there. Right there. Right there. Careful. So, that's a pretty good idea. You came up with to use that blower to get the uh, oil dispersed all over the cylinder walls. Atomized. Walls. Yes, atomized. Yeah, atomized. Yes, I stand, stand corrected. Atomized. It, this one's gonna go everywhere. Yeah, you know. It's definitely atomizing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what I mean. they call vaporizers back in the '70s. Trying to Ooh, that's get it, uh, get the spread the mystery amongst the cylinder walls instead of it just sitting at the bottom of the piston. Get it spread around, man. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep. Some of them ran on the ground. Yeah, I think uh, some of the other guys are probably gonna pick up on that little. Uh, trick there yeah if i can get more than 50 people to watch my videos <laughs> that could be a problem all right let me get the long 716 all right so what he's going to do now we're going to we're going to take the uh quarter inch on that one i kind of like the cord better pull the valve cover off the side see what it looks like underneath before he yeah for sure 7 16 yeah um, I'm about 95, yeah. Right. I think I got it. <sighs> Just uh, don't drop them down in the cylinder. Right whoa, whoa. <laughs> need a little extra drama there. Slippery one wet, yeah. It's got oil all over his hands. Oh, I need to blow that off. <laughs> folks, sorry. Gonna be a minute, folks. Hold on. Off. Just it. Oh, yeah, looks good. That's WD forty. Like. Let's go over here. Let's see what Jesse's doing over here. Oh, he's putting a fuel injection system back on. A, what is it? 90? 90, 90, 90 model Bronco, yeah. I guess that's a 5 liter, isn't it? A 5 liter, yeah. We got multiple projects going on here. Well, it's There's a multiple project vehicle um, shop facility. system, yeah. yeah. We're using the original studs with nuts at the back and yeah. the front and rear, That's, which works out pretty good sometimes. Yeah, you typically they had, uh, sometimes they had spark plug wire holders on these, didn't they? Or was that down? No, I was on the block. They probably did. I don't know. It's, got, it's a hybrid, okay? Yeah, careful. That wire's a little chewy. Whatever. It's a little brittle. It is. It's like holding its shape. Look. Well, I, I mean, damn, they're 40 years old. Well, these are the original uh, Direct stage. connection stage four cylinder heads. You just can't find those anymore. Shoot, no. Mm, even though the stickers that correct, but these are uh, Mid America Auto Parts, Stu Burris approved. Metal to metal motor mounts, or however you want to call them. Uh, Rosso. Steel motor mounts. Also steels. Huge bolts. That's all there is to it. Who needs rubber? Rubber is overrated. Yeah, tell me about it. It is. It's a dog. I couldn't even. Shit. I, I couldn't even find a one side uh, on my uh, Fury. I couldn't find that one side once a neighbor there busted it with the jack. Oh yeah. Well. 
that's what happened. Old stew. Yeah, good old stew. He wasn't that bad. He was all right. There we go. Let's see what it looks like. These things are loose, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gaskets probably shrunk up over the years. Yeah, probably did. You can reuse them, though, if you're careful. <laughs> I'm not reusing these. I reuse mine all the time. <laughs> well, that's because you have some problems. Ooh. Uh oh Brand new. Still got that GT1 green oil in it. Dude. You might be right. Look. Oh, shit. The gasket just broke. Oh, wow. Well, I ain't going to RTV bitch. that. Nice. <laughs> oh, hey. Where's it? Yeah. Here. Shine that light down in there and see. That's like new. No rust. That's good to me. Can you believe that? Yeah. There's the part I want to worry about is that damn the camshaft. The push rods aren't even rusted. Nothing. Shit. See if I can. Might have got lucky. I don't know if I can get a shot down in there. I don't know. Go ahead. Shit. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Like right now. There you go. Oh, there like, it's like new in there. There's no I'm rust at saying. all. I'm just saying. Look at that shit. Uh, sometimes the camera blinds it with the light. Yeah. There it is. Huh. It's, Might not need to pull the intake off. I wouldn't. What do you think, Jesse? I pull it. <laughs> pull it. <laughs> what? New, they're perfect circle rocker shafts. They're direct connection rocker arms, and they're perfect circle uh, valve springs and perfect circle seals. Are they double springs or single? I so don't, don't remember. It would almost have to be a double spring with that big of a cam. I don't think so. I think they're just single springs. We should be able. Where's the light at? Um, there's springs with. Is there a spring inside that dampener? Yeah, there, there is. Are. Yep, they're, they're double springs with a dampener. See, that's green oil. That's Kendall GT1. The preferred oil of Mopar people. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I never did. I like don't know that. Huh? What kind of oil is that? Can we hear it one more Kendall time? GT1. It's green. Straight 40 weight. Like you don't have to take the belt off. Just hold pressure on the belt. And... Try it? Yeah. Well, here it goes. I'll try it. Ooh, nothing. No bueno. Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, there you go. It moved a little bit. Ouch, ouch, that's, ouch. That's good news. Yeah. It's free. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It's been freed, yep. That's a, well, that's a, definitely a good sign. All right, we're back at it. Here we got the battery. Oh, that's why. That's good. We're uh, gonna do a gonna try and do a test start here. Right, we're gonna we make go. sure the. No, we're not. Well, you're gonna pull the wire off the fuel pump. No, not start. Just spin. Ooh. You're gonna. Really, that battery's pretty hot. Is there, is there a wire that you could pull off your fuel pump real quick? I don't do it. It'd be running if it was on. I know what it was. Hold on. Coming outside. Do I need a new beer for this? What? You ain't got enough cold snacks in there? No more. Cold snacks. Here we go. Nothing. Aw, oh, epic fail. Epic fail. Alright, what's what's the problem here? I think I think you need a little tap tappy on the starter. Probably so. Let me try this part. 
Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Oh, that Get that? In my don't say that, you're ruining the uh. I don't give a damn. You got a little oil on you. You think? Turn that it over was... fine, folks. I'm gonna turn it over some more. Oh. Any barnacle crops? Yeah, you should flip it over. Alright, well. Huh. Yeah, give it a whirl. Wordy whirl. Don't. Go. Whoa. That was pretty damn tight. Old bumping right. yet? As it should. No, I didn't see any coming up yet. No, that's too quick for that. Well, the, the oil filter was empty too. That, it takes a long time for that to start spewing oil up top. Yeah. That tight, though. Well, the, yeah. star the starter didn't... My starter sounds... I have a high torque mini. Is that a high torque mini? No. Yeah. That didn't sound like a price. No, it didn't. Not at all. I might have one in my stash. Oh, well, this is what sucks. That sucks. Nothing. That's hot in no, no, nothing like that. That's all right. Lord, look at that. <laughs> oh, Lord, there's shit everywhere. Oh, well. Woo, God, I can taste it. <laughs> marble, the taste of Good mystery. Old marble in your face. It's a mysterious taste of victory. Yeah, whatever. It's all right. Everywhere. Well, I, well, at least it blew it out. Right yeah, too. that's pretty awesome. So, that's a... Yeah. Uh, Sounded pretty dry. I hate sounded that pretty sound. good though. I mean, everything's moving good. The valves were moving. The lifters pumped up, or because yeah, they were pushing moving. the valves. Yeah. So uh, that's a good sign. So uh, yeah. we'll. Uh, All right, stage three next week, folks. Yeah, you know, we're ending it here. So uh, we'll see you next week if he wants to feel like uh, trying to light the fuse on it. <laughs> All right. All right. So thanks for watching. Phase two, Excuse part me. two. Okay, coming up, stage three. The, and uh, the fuel system or something. Doesn't cost you anything to hit smash the like button. Subscribe if you want. Check out my other videos. And I will catch you on part three. There you go. Out.